candles lit to farewell a friend, but those closest to Charlotte Dawson still have so many unanswered questions. Asking Charlotte why, why, why? She had everything to live for. The past few weeks had been a difficult time for the 47-year-old. She wasn't happy. It wasn't the normal bubbly Charlotte that I knew and the smiley Charlotte. She looked troubled. Flowers lay in tribute outside her Woolloomooloo unit today. Her sisters, Vicky and Robin, who are flying from New Zealand to Australia tomorrow, released this statement. Charlotte was a beautiful person, not only physically, but she had a beautiful soul. She fought for the underdog in many ways and won. But the most important battle, her struggle with depression, she couldn't win. The takeaway for all of us, if there's anything that we can do here, is... Keep holding the hands of the people that we know who have mental illness. We're in a quick fix society and there is no quick fix. She was first of all a friend, she was a fan, she was also a great supporter of rugby league. She was instrumental in the NRL's anti-bullying campaign and it's a tragic loss. There are plans underway for a public memorial next week.